in this video we are going to learn how to construct a square and a rectangle so these are two quadrilateral shapes that we are going to construct in this video now before we start one thing you must understand here is that you must know uh, one of all the most important property about square as well as a rectangle so talking about a square here we know that a square must have uh, all the four sizes uh, to be equal so what i mean by that if the distance from here to this point is let's say eight centimeters and then here also must be what uh, eight centimeters and then here also must be uh, eight centimeters and then here also must be uh, eight centimeters right so those are some of the tricks that you must understand before you start constructing a square so talking about the rectangle here rectangle here has the property that two opposite angles are, are equal right or maybe two opposite lines are equal so what i mean by that if here is two cm two centimeters here also has to be two centimeters right so and then here down here if it here is let's say five centimeters and then here also has to be five centimeters so these are the two uh, most important thing you must understand before you proceed in what constructing what uh, a square and a rectangle so let's see how to do that now we are going to construct a square with what the length eight centimeters so this is the only information that you are giving right so since we know that all the four sizes of the square are equal so all the rest of the four sizes are going to be equal so our first step here is to have a, our root down and then have a, the eight centimeters right so remember that my rule the one that i advise you to use the long run right so here i'm having the centimeters and the inches at the both side of the ruler so we are going for what the cm so starting from zero right so we have uh, our eight centimeters down this is a beautiful uh eight centimeters also i have here right so here i have uh, from the a to the b is uh, eight cm right so that is uh, eight centimeters now uh, so the rest of the four sizes are going to be eight centimeters. So here, maybe I will advise you to construct a, a perpendicular, right? So what I mean by perpendicular, you can construct ninety degrees at one end of uh, these two points, right? So we know that the, the size of the rectangle has to be what that the end here has to form a ninety degrees, right? So the same applies to this point here. So once we have a ninety degrees at one end, we can we, we are free to go, right? So let's construct a 90 degrees here, maybe or a perpendicular at this point here. So if you don't know how to construct a 90 degrees, you may consider watching our video. But here, this is what you are, you are going to stand here, open to any a convenience radius here, right? So construct the arc here, right? And then come and stand here. There are so many ways of constructing the 90. So here, I'm going to use this method here. So yeah, come and start at the end here, open more than half of what? the arc right so look at where my my pencil is open more than half of that construct the arc at the top here and then come and stand here construct another arc here to intercept right so here we can have a, a very nice straight line from the top here right so draw a straight line without any measurement so draw a very well, a straight line to the point here so that is what my straight line right so this thing in some cases can be a perpendicular line or that can form what a 90 degrees here right so the most important is i passes through the intersections of these two points or two arcs. okay now that we have that we know that here has to be what eight centimeters so without any measurement you can take what uh, your, your your pair of compasses and then come and stand at one point here. take the measurement here right so here is what eight centimeters so take this measurement here at this point and then construct the arc at the top here so make sure that your line goes beyond that right so here is a, another arc so that tells me that from b to this point here is going to be eight centimeters right so once you have this eight centimeters here then we are done we're almost done right so once that we have two sides of the uh, the square here we're almost done so what are we going to do next come and stand here with the same radius right make sure that you don't close it come and stand here and then construct another arc at the top here right so what is it that tells me that anywhere on this arc here is what uh, eight centimeters from what uh, from 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 eight is that okay what are we going to do look at where these two people meet right look at where these two people meet intersect here so come and stand here right come and stand at the joint here okay and then cross this out 
Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So very nice and very simple one. The most important thing is that this line here has to be perpendicular, right? So once you know how to construct the 90 degrees, we are free to go. Or if you know how to construct a perpendicular line. So we have a full video on what, on this thing. So you may consider checking our playlist below or subscribe to the channel for more content. And now you are free to join all the lines, right? So you can join the line from this one to this point and then from here to this point. That will give us a, a very simple square that we are looking for. So this is what my 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 nice and beautiful square, right? So here will be your A centimeters, here will also be your ACM, here is also what HCM, and then here is also eight centimeters, right? So this is a very nice and simple square that I've constructed. If you have any other method, make sure that you share with us in what in the comment section. Now let's see how to construct a, a rectangle that follows a similar approach, but the only difference is that we have two offset angles or maybe lines are equal, right? So let's see how to do that. So here we are going to construct a, a rectangle with this dimension, right? So the length here that is going to be eight centimeters and then you have the breadth or the weight to be what let's say five cm right so this is the rectangle that you want to construct so here it's what five centimeters and then here's going to be what, eight centimeters so those are the two things or two dimensions that uh, we are having so how do you do that of course this is what my eight centimeters line down right so obviously what is happening i've extended this line to what uh, that goes beyond the measurement. Nobody, I don't think any security personnel will arrest you for doing this, right? So the reason be is that, of course, as usual, we are going to have a, a perpendicular line or maybe a 90 degree by set at the end of what it can be here. It can be at the B or it can be at the, at the A. Nobody cares about that, right? So here we are going to have our a, a 90 degrees or maybe a by set here. So in some cases, some some people choose to uh, have an arc here and an arc here and then by set in between. Whichever way, the most important thing is that you are having what a straight line, a perpendicular line here, right? So that is the most important thing. Now let's join this line. So I have my beautiful line at one end here, right? So that is a straight and a perpendicular line here. Now, uh, here is eight centimeters. So here is going to be a five centimeters. What are we going to do here? Now have your your rule down, right? So pick up your rule and then uh, have your compass right so have your compass here and then I'm going to take off my five centimeters on this rule so starting from zero right so this is a very simple and straightforward one. five centimeters according to my measurements so depending on the rule that you are using right so the most important thing you are taking this in very accurately so here's all my five centimeters here okay with that five centimeters and then come and stand at top one end here Right, one end here, and then we'll construct your arc here. Right, so that's a very beautiful arc that I'm having. That tells me that from B to the arc here is going to be a five centimeter. So, with the same measurement, since we know that opposite angles or maybe lines here are equal, right? They have the same dimension. So, come and stand here and then construct another arc at the point here. Right? That is another arc. So from here to the arc, anywhere on the arc here is so five centimeters, and then from here to here is also another five centimeters. Now you are left to have the dimension here, right? The distance here is going to be eight centimeters. So just come and stand here, take this same measurement, right? So take this measurement here, so which is a uh, eight, right? So that is exactly my eight so centimeters. So, so come and stand here, look at the intersection here. Come and stand at this point, and then cross the arc. Here. Right, so that is very simple and then we're in the street for so now we are free to join these people to this point and then join this one to this point. Then we have a, our rectangle down. Yeah, so this is a my very simple rectangle that I'm having, right? So here is going to be uh five centimeters and then here's also five centimeters, and then for sure the top here is going to be eight or eight centimeters. So these are very nice and uh, this is a, a, a square and then this is a uh, right angle. if you gain some value from this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more content like this